What's up, everybody? This is Phil Rogacki. And I'm Jared Abergina. You're listening to Two Tree Guys Podcast. What's up, everybody? Phil Rogacki here with the Two Tree Guy Podcast. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for listening. Thank you for following. Thank you for sharing. Thank you for everything uh, you guys do uh, in supporting this uh, podcast. Again, you know, we don't get paid for this podcast, uh, but there is a fee, and that fee is to share it. If you get something out of this today, if you laughed, if you learned something that you didn't know, uh, pay the fee. If not, it's like a dine and dash. So don't dine, don't listen and dash here. Pay the freaking fee. But for first time listeners that never heard this before or listened to this podcast, we got multiple different podcasts we bring to you, man. We got safety talk. We got our gear talk. We got training talk. We got our what's your story, hearing individuals' unique stories of how they got in this industry, things that helped them out, mentors in their life, the ups, the downs. You get to hear their story for that. Uh, but today, one thing I'm going to be bringing to you, uh, we're bringing a training talk, okay? And what we're going to be talking about on this training talk is Natural State Tree Climbing Championship. Okay, this is going to be cool. And who we have with us in the studio today, we have Chad Bryant and uh, David Rains from Tree Gorilla and Rains Tree Care for that. So welcome, guys. Thank you for joining the show. How are you? Yeah, doing great, man. Thanks, thanks, Bill. We certainly uh, appreciate this opportunity to talk. Yeah, man, definitely. How are you doing today? Fantastic. Thank Fantastic. you so much for having me. Did you enjoy on. the show? Oh, love the show. Yeah. This is always a hit. Was there one thing that you guys pulled out of the show besides, you know, the Two Tree Guy podcast of being the highlight, but anything else? It's hard to top this. <laughs> I, I, was like able to, I was able to glean a few things from the classes. Uh, I've um, really enjoyed trying to get my team involved and, uh, Got all of them. I gave them all a notebook, and I said, "Y'all go to different classes, and you're going to teach it later." So, love that. So yeah, I'm, and then uh, they're I'm like, looking shit. For, I'm looking forward. I'm we, we, we started instituting rain day as train day at our company, uh-huh. uh, so we don't get rained out. We just get trained that day. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so like they, I'm gonna make them do some teaching. Good, yeah. good. That's good, man. It's you know when you come here, it's uh, if you leave with something, you're smarter today than you were yesterday. So just yeah. one thing. And you, it was worth it, you know, from that. That's it. And those little 1% changes every single day before you know it, you look back and you go, what the heck? Yeah. I don't even recognize that person back yeah. there from that. So, you know, um, these, these, this show is awesome. Yeah, Absolutely right. awesome. But let's get into the Natural State Tree Climbing Championship. It's a mouthful. It is a mouthful, but let's hear about it. Give me an earful. So, so we just got done. Last year was our sixth annual uh tree climbing championship david started it the first year and i came in and volunteered like i had at other comps and was like dude i want in all in and from then on we've been kind of running it together um as co-chairs it's been a lot of fun it has grown really fast uh whenever we uh announce it we open it up to in-state competitors uh we usually do three days for in-state guys to get registered before we open it to the world uh, the last That's couple nice. of years, it once we opened it to everybody else, it's gone quick. This year, it was about 30 seconds once the, the event bright opened and it was full, uh, you know, with a 25 person wait list. So, wow. Yeah, man. It's That's good. It, it's fun. And it's it brings in uh, super good climbers from all around the country. Uh, and really, for us, it's uh, helped us to, um, to raise the tide in our area because, you know, there's a lot of. Our area was uh, didn't get a whole lot of training opportunities for a long time. Little Rock, Arkansas. Yeah, well, I'm in Little Rock. David's in Bentonville. Yeah, uh, Bella Vista area, and yeah, we just didn't get a whole lot of training opportunities. So we took this as a as a chance to kind of bring people in and rub elbows. And now the last couple of years, we've really started turning it into a training event. Um, last year, we held held it on the campus of uh, Hendricks College in Conway. Um, we did uh, a day of training ahead of time. I, I dubbed this one tree the learning tree. Um, during the competition, we do two uh, aerial rescues, and we did we sequestered both of them. We sequestered them at the learning tree, and uh, I gave explicit orders to the to all of the veteran competitors that you know this is where you pour out the knowledge you've been gaining it all these years from everybody. You pour it out right here at the learning tree, and it uh, really. Really, tree. really did good, man. A lot of people uh, took it and ran with it, and uh, and this year the the lineup of um, people that are going to come help 
educate is yeah. humongous. I mean, I've got um, uh, Jeff Inman's coming, Keith Stoner, Gary uh, uh, Gary Kohler. Uh, who else is on the list? Um, yeah, the list is yours. And I know, we, and it's, we, it's, it's a deep it's, list. Yeah, and we got a lot of conversations going. Talking to going Jared people. about coming, been talking to a lot of folks. And nice. Got a lot of really good, solid commitments, and then got a lot more that that yeah. are maybes that I'm hoping to hoping man. to get involved. It's cool to probably watch it grow, it you really know, is. to where it's it was just wings. duct tape and bubble gum trying to figure it out, make it happen. And then all of a sudden you got people on wait lists. You got the lineup that you're having come there. I mean, it starts to become a thing, yeah. big thing. Yeah, it's been fun. That. It's amazing to watch it grown over the years. And well, we, we've we got Arkansas Urban Forestry Council on board. They're, they're the folks that host this for us and they, they support us and they yeah. help keep us going. And having a state urban forestry council like that they're into training and education so this gives us those opportunities nice. to add that when we started we were looking mainly at your traditional tree climbing championship and and we got some good traction right away perfect storm just started rolling along with it and then gave us those opportunities to add these training and educational elements that's and good we just have such fantastic support we have all of the volunteers and the trainers that travel for thousands of miles to come come see us you know how this is yeah. it's on everyone is paying their own way and the competitors love it but we just get the same su return support year after year that's awesome yeah, now what thing. made you want to start this well we we are in a chapter that is a large chapter and within arkansas we're more on the far west side of that chapter so most of our traveling for competitions was long distances and within our our group of arborists within the state we started talking about an opportunity to do something within arkansas and so that just it led one thing led to another and we we thought this is a great location we're surrounded by a number of states that have high quality arborists working climbing arborists in that area and they support us come to it every year and it just grew from there wow that's awesome. That's awesome. So what kind of courses and classes do you guys have in here? Man, I don't really know my full list right now for what we're going to do this year. Not, last year, there were uh, rigging courses classes where they got in there with load cells and demonstrated stuff. Uh, Christian Schultz, who's another one of our presenters this year. What was the class he did last year? Um, I think it was a work positioning class or a body mechanics class. Yeah. I mean, just this the same kind of classes that you find here um, for a lot of it. I mean, we don't have as many of the business track classes right now. Yeah. But as this thing continues to grow, you know, I want to, I want everybody to learn as much as they can. You exactly. Know? Exactly. Yeah, I mean, uh, raising tide raises all ships. When we got into the industry and and we would go to travel to workshops and training opportunities, most of them were geared on your basic aerial rescue techniques or introduction to tree climbing, that sort of thing. But over the years, we've all seen the opportunities for things to advance. And now we're, we're doing things where it's, your arborist is an athlete and you're looking at opportunities to, to protect your body and to, to recover and how to perform at a higher level. So, so the training just is endless and there's not really a ceiling on it because no longer are we looking at the basics of just doing the basic aerial rescue now we're getting into real life situations we're having firefighters and emt crews come on board yeah and they're learning and they're blown away by what we were showing them and what our trainers are doing and then they're also introducing real life scenarios and yeah. it's yeah. it's great to see our communities get involved like that because it expands the entire industry it does yeah. it, it just you know putting it in your community inviting your community to come out to it they're mm -hmm. like Oh, this is what a tree guy does. You know, this is our that industry because they don't know. They're uneducated on what we really do on a daily basis. Right. You know, uh, the the world looks at us as, um, you know, my opinion. They look at us as, uh, oh, we're just the high school dropouts, the guys that didn't go to college. Our only option in life is flip a burger, climb a tree, or you know, mow a lawn. Yet we're doctors, scientists. We take care of the largest living organism in the world, most dangerous job in the world. Yet in our in our industry, there's not a lot of education and training. So bringing this kind of stuff in really helps to elevate our industry up, make people safer, make them more money, That's get some home at night. And it also draws the community in to understand 
wow, this was a lot more than what I thought. I understand when they send me that estimate at that price, yes, it is worth it for what they're doing. Absolutely. Could we ever ask to do anything better than what we do? This is yeah. the best career in the world. And now we don't just see the, the young people who are the dropouts and that yeah. sort of thing. And, you, you know, we've got college educated people on our crews. We've got people with degrees. We see that everywhere. Every day. And they just want to do something different. And they need that adventure yeah. and that challenge. And this is what Arbor Culture has to offer. They're, they're understanding that their education that they got there's not many places they can go to or they want to go to when they get done. They mm-hmm. feel like, ah, mom and dad wants me to go to college. Okay, I'm going to go to college. I'm, uh, what am I going to pick? Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Four years later, they get out in the real world. Uh, they're in debt for the next 20 years, and they have a profession and a piece of paper that they don't want to do anything with and don't know where to go because everybody has a bachelor's degree now. Oh, yeah. But you know what? There's not enough tradesmen. They're not. There's not enough people that built america and the iron workers and the tree people and the landscape and from the the coal i mean everything we don't have enough we need the tradesmen back you're right so build, right build build america back I agree. you know and stuff so now let's talk about this is a training talk so people yeah. come into competitions and i'm a big fan for i don't care what your skill level is just go compete you bet oh, absolutely. and because of what you're going to learn let's talk about by competing you guys competed yes yes he has i have so i was already gravitationally challenged by the time i got <laughs> introduced to the world of uh competition tree climbing but so talk to me about when you go what do you learn by getting your first competition to your 50th competition whatever it meant then what do you learn what do you, what can you educate someone on hey that who signs up for the first time what are they going to learn out there you know the the biggest thing that i learned from the beginning and what i continue to learn and see and witness and it's so awesome is the camaraderie the support the fact that it doesn't matter where you come in on your level especially if you're a first timer you're a new climber if you're open to it people are going to take you in they're going to love on you they're going to want to teach you they're going to want to show you these things the amount of cheering for everyone that we've all seen the the support and it's just that's what i get the most out of and that changes people's ideas about it because it turns it into where it's no longer a competition Mm -hmm. it's it's a family run thing where people want to support each other they want to watch each other do well if they're beating me i'm cheering for them as loudly as the next person it's it's weird I mean, it's it's not normal anything like it. Any yeah. other industry or competition there is out there. Something I love to say about the natural state: we don't have winners and losers. We've got winners and learners. In winners fact, learners. if you do it right, you got learners and learners because you can learn when you win or when you lose. Absolutely, I love yeah. that. I love I love that. You do you you learn when you win. You learn when you lose. You learn when you make failures. You learn when you trip. Yeah, that's it. I mean, failures, losses. Man, that's the best education. Absolutely. Yeah. That's the best education. So uh, how do, how does someone get in contact with you guys? What's their next step? They like it. They want to know more. They want to come learn. They want to come to the course. Well, so, I mean, not the so, course, but So we do a Facebook page, uh, the Natural State Tree Climbing Championship. Um, we'll, we'll usually post um, updates on spirit of the competition. Uh, we, we're mostly on Facebook. We do have a little bit of an Instagram presence, but not much. Okay. But, uh, um, but yeah, we're mostly on there. What's um, the Instagram? Where, where do they find? I don't, I don't. I could not lie to you on what the Instagram is. I don't even know is, if Natural State has an Insta. Really, we not. I know that we, Facebook we is that. our biggest presence. You, you will after this, right? Yeah, 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 we will. It'll be it'll be under Natural State Tree Climbing Championship. Okay. With some iteration from that. Yeah. Whatever whatever Insta lets us do. <laughs> we're tree guys growing yeah. trying to figure yeah, this thing out we're learning as yeah. we go we're, we're learning as we're we grow learned. we're just yeah. blown away at how fast it's all yeah, happened it really has you it know, this will be our seventh year and it it is unbelievable mm-hmm. the traction that we've got yeah. yeah our industry they want more of this they do you they know do. put one in they every single it. state mm-hmm. you know yeah. let's let's have our state championships the They're national championship everywhere. let's yeah. let's really build this up so you don't have to dr- you don't have to fly out to uh, St. Louis to come learn. Yeah, I could just drive two hours because I have courses every single week that are happening or every month that are happening out there because we need more education. Yeah, out we there. do, we do, and, I, and and we've got an industry that's if you put it together, the industry is out there to uh, to help support it. I mean, they our our sponsors have helped us so much over the years with 
you know, coming together with materials, giveaway stuff. Uh, you know, like we've talked about, we've discussed with people uh, doing some training. Something that we've uh, tried to do at our comp is we try to dote on our new climbers. Uh, you know, the, the rookies, instead of all of the people that come in and win comps and are always winning comps and already have all the things that are donated, mm -hmm. we don't give them a whole lot of the stuff. We give it out to your rookies. And we, like last year, we had prize packages for every rookie and the top root top so one of my guys came in second place and his prize package we added up was like seventeen hundred dollars worth of stuff that is awesome. like he had a basically a full kit uh you know and and it was it was like that most of the way down we also like to thank our volunteers mm -hmm. uh you yeah. know tufel burger was huge about uh hooking us up last year we gave away four tree motions to volunteers wow. along with a whole host of other awesome awesome swag so so yeah it's uh i love I, I love i love hearing this stuff and yeah. what, what are the dates for this uh so it's the first weekend in may from now on we had it one year in co because of covid uh they, first they, week in yeah, may first weekend in may from put now in your on. calendar go to google put in your calendar and put repeat for the next that's hundred right. years yeah, yeah. we yeah. You never we, have to we, forget we, it we, we found some places way out in the woods they won't stop us for COVID again <laughs> <laughs> i like it you know even like through it. COVID, as challenging as it was we were able to delay by a few months we couldn't do may it was right in the middle of a hot spot but we we were patient and we we did not cancel. We held on to it. We had a no, November comp. It only, it only took a couple yeah. months. Yeah, November. Arkansas was done with yeah, COVID in two we months. Were, we California, yeah. they're still going. Yeah, well, <laughs> yeah, we do. <laughs> we won't get into that. I'm like, I'm moving. Yeah. I'm coming to Arkansas. Don't tell everybody. Along awesome. with everyone else. <laughs> Don't tell everybody how awesome Arkansas is. Yeah. It, it'll happen. Yeah. It'll yeah. happen. You'll start seeing Californians showing yeah, up they're here. There. And oh, they're there. They're there. Sons of bitches. <laughs> <laughs> well, listen, guys, I appreciate what you're doing. You know, I appreciate you you starting something, you know, and getting it Thank going you. uh for yourself and jumping in and going, I want to be a part of this. Guys, if you guys want to be a part of this, man, there trust me, when when you're putting one of these shows on, it is not easy. There's so much logistics, and we need all the help you possibly can get for people to dive in and help from that. Reach, reach, reach out to Chad and David, guys. Reach out to them. Uh, Tree Gorillas, Rain's Tree Care. Reach out to them. Say hello. Do you guys want to give it your email, phone number, anything so people can get a hold of you? Yeah, or, sure. Uh, mine is Tree Gorilla at Yahoo, but I, I won't answer an email. But uh, just just Google me at Tree Gorilla and give me a call. I will answer the phone. There you go. Yeah, David at Rain's Tree Care dot com. And he Easy will answer an email. He's, he's <laughs> a lot more adult about it. <laughs> I'm on it a lot. I like it. I yeah. like it. I like it. Well, guys, listen, I appreciate you listening to the show. If you got something out of it, if you're going to go to this comp, share, share it. That's the fee for this. And uh, like I always say at the end of this, let's continue to elevate the standard of the industry through safety, through training, and through innovation. We appreciate you. Love you guys. Till next time, see you later. Bye.